Hey, I'm Stuart Hetherington, founder and CEO of Bleed Dreamport. And we're here today to demonstrate how to reassemble the Dreamway in cases of cleaning or accidental removal of parts. I have before me one Dreamway. And to begin with, I'm gonna show you the four critical components of the Dreamway by disassembling it. I'm going to snap the vent off the vent swivel, which is already put into the tube. I'm gonna remove the silicone from the vent itself and then I'm going to take the silicone and I'm going to remove the QR sockets. And now what you have are four components, two QR sockets, the silicone, the vent, and the vent swivel. I'm going to begin reassembly from the bottom up, which is the easiest way to reassemble the Dreamway. Start by aligning the vent ball over the vent swivel and snap it into place. And you'll see that it swivels around. What you will notice about the bottom of the vent is that there is a grooved channel that the silicone sits in. The easiest thing to do is line up the shapes of the silicone with the vent, and then you're gonna place one end of the silicone into one of the grooved channels of the vent and then stretch it around and in place. And that's it, very simple. The most critical element to proper alignment with the silicone is making sure that the silicone base is inside the QR socket. The easiest way to do this is to indent with one finger, pinch with your other thumb and index finger, slip the QR socket over the top of the silicone, and then release it, give it a twist, and you'll see that the QR socket is back into place. And then you can duplicate that with the other side. So a slight indentation with the seal, pinch with your thumb and index finger, which will make it smaller than the base of the QR socket, slip it over the top, then let it go, give it a slight twist, and it's back together. And so this is a fully assembled Dreamway. Sweet dreams.